Alright guys, hello, it's me back again for another Monday's video and today I'm going to be using my Scrappy Soul Book. That is my brand new class that came out today. I'm super excited about that. And I think I have um, was so excited that I really struggle putting this one together. So, you know what? We just keep working and pushing and it came to a point. It actually had some really therapeutic moments and some things that I guess subconsciously have been going on in my mind. Um, that when I got here and, um, you know, started exploring, I just really wanted to dig in and enjoy some moments of just scribbling like a kid. And it felt so good. I just kept going and kept going. And then, um, yeah, so I was really surprised by this page. It's, um, you know, it, it was, it was good. It was good. It was a challenge. Um, I think occasionally it appears as if though I don't struggle to bring something all together or I am always able to express myself in the way that I want to. And to be honest, that's not the case. Um, there are moments and times when I'm just not feeling it either and it's difficult. So... Don't feel like the people that you see on YouTube that we got it all together and that every time that we sit down, it's just this awesome piece that comes out. Um, I think a lot of times the, the moments that I have that the journal really brings up some things for me is when I'm struggling the most and I really have to dig my heels in. So you have seen me do a lot of wild and crazy things right here on this page and I am just leaning into it and um, exploring uh, how the mediums feel in my hands and how fun it is to just scribble and make a hot mess. One of the bonus things with working in your Scrappy Soul Book is the, is the benefit that you already have something to go on. So that you're not starting with a brand spanking new page. Now the other thing that I feel like kind of, I'm not going to say held me back but made me have to dig my knuckles in a little bit was because I wanted to use this house. I don't really know why. It was just right there, and I really wanted it to work, and I'm going to push it to work, but um, I had kind of this dream about an abandoned house recently, and I think that is where... <laughs> I think that's where my need to use this house came from. I don't know. And it was like in my dream there was an abandoned house and it was floating in a cloud. And maybe I'm trying to recreate that. I'm not really sure. But you know what? Inspiration comes in some weird places sometimes, right? So after I got all crazy about with um, that um, wild and crazy background, I'm going in now with that white gesso, or maybe it was just white paint, I'm not sure. And I'm going around with the Stabilo all just to give a little shade and shadow and make it look a little more like it is um, a house floating in a cloud opposed to just a piece of paper stuck on to this um out um this journal page so yeah there's that and then I decided hey you know what why not get wild and willy-nilly with it and go ahead and just drip some neon pink paint because neon pink makes everything better right well not necessarily <laughs> but I did have to push through here to get um to get it going, get it popping, get it making, make some things happen. And I'm going down here with a little bit of white because I decided that I wanted to journal. Did I journal? I think I did journal. I have done so many pages over the last few days and I've been filming for the class and 
um, filming for it. I did an interview the other day. I just had a lot of things going, guys. Just all lots of stuff, right? And so I can't even remember, to be honest with you. But then I decided I wanted to create this ladder that um, you would take up to get in this abandoned house. And so I'm creating that. And I really, to, to be honest with you, don't know that it looks like a ladder. But yeah, who knows. And I also think one of the things that kind of um, made me struggle a little bit is I have gotten so used to using collage elements. Um, before I go in with paint that I did not do that here and maybe that maybe that was it I'm not really sure to be honest with you But I was also showing you when you use your baby wipe you can pick up some of that um, Acrylic ink and have a little resist going on So I'm gonna grunge it up because y'all know I like the grunge a little bit with my um my Lyra graphite water soluble pencil and then I am going to go in and I think I do some uh, journaling down there after I splatter and that's going to be it today guys um so thank you so much for joining me I hope that this has inspired you to uh go out make a big mess and get creative I hope that you will click that subscribe button and leave me a comment as I finish up and do a little bits of journaling about being abandoned and what else did I say who knows have no idea um so thanks so much guys I appreciate each and every one of your comments and your thumbs up so until next time to lose